Set yourselves up for a remarkable, inestimable occasion of massive extents. Betelgeuse, the epic red Goliath star, roost on the edge of our system is producing agitating signs. Across the universe using the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have made a significantly upsetting revelation concerning gigantic divine substance. With regarded astrophysicist Brian Cox giving a serious admonition, the approaching question emerges, are we near the very edge of seeing a calamitous cosmic explosion? Blast that could everlastingly alter the natural night sky. Let's dig into the subtleties in the immense spread of the universe where stars appear to carry on without their searing lives and eventually die in awesome shows. One star has as of late caught the consideration and worry of researchers and the public the same. This star is Betelgeuse, a red very goliath of huge size and progress in years. Clearly arranged in the Orion group of stars, its particular red tone and variable brilliance have long interested spectators. But recent advancements have strengthened interest in this enormous Goliath. As we examine the nature of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves very nearly a possibly great occasion in the star's life cycle. Betelgeuse, approximately multiple times bigger than our sun, is genuinely a heavenly behemoth. Its amazing size is nearly beyond human cognizance. Imagine a star so gigantic that if it somehow managed to take the spot of our sun, its surface would reach out past the circle of Mars, immersing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars itself in its searing hug. This colossal size not just addresses Betelgeuse's actual attributes but additionally demonstrates its stage in the heavenly life cycle as a red very Goliath. Betelgeuse is in the sundown of its presence, a stage set apart by expansion and cooling following eons of intertwining hydrogen into helium in its center. But what about Betelgeuse's age? This star, estimated to be around 8 to 85 million years of age, may seem youthful in human terms but is ancient with regards to heavenly lifetimes. Its current red very Goliath stage addresses the culmination of millions of long periods of heavenly development, a period set apart by emotional changes and cycles that have changed it from a hot blue star into the red monster we see today. The life cycle of stars like Betelgeuse is a journey of change driven by the determined forces of atomic combination and gravity. Betelgeuse's particular red variety is one more sign of its current stage, a consequence of its generally cooler surface temperature contrasted with stars like our sun. But Betelgeuse's confounding conduct doesn't stop there. Its variable brilliance adds one more layer of interest. Betelgeuse is a semi-customary variable star, its iridescent waxing and fading in a trademark dance that has intrigued stargazers for quite a long time. However, what truly sets in Betelgeuse separated is its inconsistency. Not like some stars that follow unsurprising examples, Betelgeuse periodically strays from its musical cycle, alluding to complex and less grasped processes inside its gigantic structure. In a new notable advancement, Betelgeuse surprised stargazers and astronomers around the world with an unforeseen and sensational change in its appearance. Now broadly named the Extraordinary Darkening, in late 2019, this brilliant star began to bafflingly faint, losing its radiance at an unprecedented rate until it reached its lowest splendor in February 2020. Betelgeuse, typically apparent to the unaided eye even in light-contaminated regions, turned out to be observably fainter, a peculiarity that even novice onlookers would be able to perceive. One test in observing Betelgeuse's activities is the Time Catch 22. When we notice a star like Betelgeuse, we're not considering it to be it exists in the present, but rather as it showed up in the past because of the time it takes for light to make a trip to us, around 725 light years away. The light we see from Betelgeuse today left the star almost seven centuries prior. This time delay makes it hard to anticipate and monitor unexpected changes in a star's conduct as we are basically looking into its past. The new darkening occasion of Betelgeuse highlighted the intrinsic challenges of real-time galactic perceptions and the difficulties presented by the vast scopes and the time audit they present. Andrea Dupree, Associate Director of the Center for Astronomy at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team firmly observed the unfolding occasions. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to examine the gigantic star as a component of a three-year study aimed at monitoring variations in its external climate. These perceptions provided significant insights into the dynamics of a variable star like Betelgeuse, which encounters regular movements and compressions prompting fluctuations in brilliance. Hubble, sensitive to ultraviolet light, 
allowed specialists to research the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, warmed in part by the star's violent convection cells. By analyzing Hubble spectra taken throughout 2019 and 2020, researchers were ready to gauge the movement of material in Betelgeuse's external air, specifically they focused on magnesium Roman II lines, which give signs of environmental circumstances. These perceptions uncovered material moving at rates of around 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its external climate. This hot dense material ultimately extended great many miles from Betelgeuse and preceded the development of the dust cloud responsible for the star's darkening. Dupree and her team estimated that roughly two times the normal measure of material from Betelgeuse's southern half of the globe was lost over the three months of the explosion, a significant mass misfortune considering that all stars including Betelgeuse constantly shed mass albeit at a rate a lot higher than our sun. The size of this mass discharge and the resulting diminishing prompted conversations among stargazers about whether it very well may be a forerunner to a cosmic explosion. Blast Betelgeuse relatively close to Earth, around 725 light years away adds to the interest as any such blast would be noticeable from our planet giving an interesting chance to observe a cosmic explosion up close. However, the inquiry remains what does this diminishing occasion mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it an indication of a looming cosmic explosion or simply a unique episode in a star's extensive and complex life? Different speculations were proposed to make sense of this unexpected change. One common hypothesis suggested a stage in the cosmic explosion blast process building up forward momentum because of the common conviction that Betelgeuse is approaching the end of its life. Another hypothesis implicated dust, perhaps originating from the actual star clouding our view. Betelgeuse, like other red super goliaths, is known to shed material, which could form a dust cloud sufficiently thick to diminish the star's light as per our viewpoint. A third clarification considered changes in the star's photosphere, the apparent surface layer which could influence its obvious splendor. In-depth examination utilizing different observational techniques unwound this mystery. Spectroscopic examinations demonstrated a drop in Betelgeuse's effective temperature, suggesting that the darkening could be due to a large dim spot on the star's surface. This hypothesis was supported by observations showing that Betelgeuse's temperature decreased by at least 170 Kelvin around the hour of the darkening, indicating massive changes on its surface. Ultimately, the key to grasping this surprising peculiarity came from humankind's eye in space, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's perceptions revealed that Betelgeuse's darkening was likely caused by a massive discharge of hot material into space, forming a dust cloud that clouded a key part of the star surface and reduced how much light reaching us. This dust cloud was believed to have formed from very hot plasma ejected from a large convection cell on the star surface and then traveling through its atmosphere to the cooler outer layers where it cooled and formed dust grains, making the observed cloud. Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic observations, which began in January 2019, played a critical role in piecing together the timeline leading to Betelgeuse's darkening, capturing signs of dense heated material TRA and through the star's atmosphere in the months preceding the darkening in December 2019. Several ground-based telescopes also observed Betelgeuse decreasing in brilliance, particularly in its southern hemisphere. The material emitted initially brighter than the star's regular radiance eventually coalesced into a foreboding shadow as it dispersed outward and cooled. This outflowing material and the resulting foreboding shadow were speculated to be the cause of the star's sudden darkening. The magnitude of this discharge was stupendous, thrusting Betelgeuse into the galactic spotlight. The star expelled an estimated 400 multiple times the mass normally delivered in a standard coronal mass discharge. This mass, accepted to gauge several fold the amount of his R moon, stamped a critical occasion not just for Betelgeuse yet in addition for our cognizance of heavenly mechanics. This huge launch of material holds significant ramifications for cosmic explosion speculation. Conventional understanding recommends that red super monsters like Betelgeuse consistently shed mass before their hazardous death. However, the size of this discharge challenges this idea, showing a possibly violent and capricious last stage for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be planning for its fabulous finale, a cosmic explosion blast in the approaching centuries? Ongoing investigation conjecture about the planning of such an occasion, suggesting that it could happen sooner than previously aced ed, potentially inside of scarcely any many years.
Another essential viewpoint of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the idea of the bow shock as the huge star goes through space at around 67,000 miles per hour comparative with its encompassing interstellar medium, it produces a bow shock similar to the wave framed by the bow of a moving boat. This peculiarity happens as the star's external layers cooperate with interstellar gases and residue displaying the star's dynamic nature and its connection with the astronomical climate. Focusing on this bow shock illuminates us not just about Betelgeuse's current status but in addition adds to our comprehension of heavenly development and mass misfortune processes. Regarding Betelgeuse's new conduct, observations demonstrate that its surface has cooled and turned out to be less dense following the mass discharge occasion, leaving the star in an unstable state even years later. Hydrodynamic reenactments recommend a connection between the star's convective activities, mass discharge, and ensuing throb mode exchanging. This ongoing shakiness brings up issues about the inner processes driving these progressions and their potential results. Moreover, Betelgeuse's noticed mass misfortune rate is fundamentally higher than that of numerous different stars, proposing a complex exchange of interior powers. With all these emotional changes, the topic of whether Betelgeuse's very nearly going cosmic explosion poses a potential threat in the cosmic local area. Albeit the timing of such an occasion remains unsure, the new extraordinary mass launch has without a doubt moved the talk, indicating a more unavoidable end than previously expected. Theories now wrestle with the repercussions of such enormous material misfortune and its implications for the star's dependability and future. In the meantime, in the midst of the investigation of Betelgeuse, another infinite occasion seizes our consideration, the cosmic explosion SN2023X. This dynamite blast happened in the pinwheel cosmic system only 21 million light years away, making it the closest cosmic explosion saw lately. Its revelation by beginner cosmologist Koi Aki and resulting concentrate on Prav gave priceless experiences into the idea of heavenly blasts and their encompassing conditions. Spectral investigation uncovered a thick shell of gas encompassing SN2023X, impacting the way of behaving of the cosmic explosion shock wave and inciting further examination concerning the star's pre-blast conditions. The fact that Betelgeuse lost up makes it evaluated to a sunlight-based mass of material in the last one to two years of its life, showing that its last minutes were everything except quiet. Distinguishing the ancestor of SN2023X has turned into a point of convergence of study, with specialists uniting on a probable red supergiant. By considering the subtleties of SN2023X's blast, including its forebear's qualities and the elements paving the way to its last explosion, cosmologists can refine their models of heavenly development and cosmic explosion mechanics. These bits of knowledge straightforwardly illuminate how we might interpret Betelgeuse's present status and its likely way to a cosmic explosion, offering a clearer picture of what signs to search for and how to decipher the huge red Goliath's complex ways of behaving. Yet, when will Betelgeuse detonate into a cosmic explosion? Research from Japan's Tohoku College suggests that Betelgeuse could presently be in the carbon-consuming phase of its life, a stage normally going before the finish of a star's life. The head of this review sets that the star center could break down two or three several years after the carbon is depleted. Then again, scientists from Hungary's Cornell Observatory expect Betelgeuse is in a previous helium-consuming stage. Regardless of these various perspectives, there is an agreement that Betelgeuse is probably going to be the following cosmic explosion in the smooth manner. Albeit this occasion probably won't occur for an additional 100,000 years, perceptions of supernovae have given significant bits of knowledge into heavenly passings. The earliest affirmed record of a cosmic explosion tracing all the way back to 185 CE was seen as a brilliant star that took around eight months to fade from the sky. From that point forward, several significant supernovae have been recorded, including SN 1604, the most splendid recorded star ever to show up in our night sky, apparent across different regions of the planet, and SN 1054, which brought about the arrangement of the crab cloud and was apparent in daylight for 23 days. The latest cosmic explosion seen in the smooth manner was SN 1987A, concentrated broadly by Johannes Kepler. All the more as of late, Cosmic Explosion 1987A in the huge Magellanic Cloud was noticed promptly after its light arrived at Earth denoting the principal cosmic explosion distinguished through neutrino emanation and noticed across each band of the electromagnetic range. 
These perceptions have been significant in creating effective models of cosmic explosion conduct and understanding their job in star arrangement. Observing supernovae has been a groundbreaking try in the field of cosmology, giving bits of knowledge into the demise tosses of stars and revealing the mysteries of the universe's advancement. Supernovae act as infinite research facilities where outrageous circumstances bring about fascinating peculiarities and major cycles that shape the universe. By concentrating on these heavenly blasts across various frequencies from gamma beams to radio waves, space experts gain a comprehensive comprehension of the material science hidden these destructive occasions. Supernovae are arranged into different kinds based on their otherworldly characteristics and the instruments driving their blasts. Type IIA supernovae, for example, result from the nuclear blast of a white dwarf in a double framework, while core collapse supernovae like Type II and Type IBC happen when massive stars reach the finish of their transformative way and go through gravitational collapse followed by a savage blast. Each sort of cosmic explosion offers exceptional bits of knowledge into heavenly development, nucleosynthesis, and the elements of the interstellar medium. Type IIA cosmic explosion, frequently alluded to as standard candles, has had an essential impact in estimating enormous distances and explaining the extension history of the universe. By looking at the noticed splendor of type IIA supernovae with their inherent iridescence, space experts can deduce the distances to their host worlds and follow the vast extension rate over vast time, prompting the revelation of dim energy and the sped-up extension of the universe. Core collapse supernovae, then again, are heavenly heaters that combine weighty components, including iron, nickel, and pass through nucleosynthesis processes happening during the blast. These components are then scattered into the encompassing interstellar medium, enhancing it with the structure blocks of people in the future of stars, planets, and even life. Core collapse supernovae also act as grandiose molecule gas pedals, producing high-energy infinite beams that penetrate the universe and impact its advancement. Notwithstanding their logical importance, supernovae hold cultural and verifiable significance, motivating wonderment and interest across developments and stories. Antiquated records from developments like the Chinese, Babylonians, and Maya record the appearance of visitor stars or new stars in the night sky, likely cosmic explosion blasts visible to the unaided eye. These divine occasions were frequently interpreted as signs or omens, shaping convictions and affecting the course of mankind's set of experiences.